we're going to do a garden collage and we're going to look at the sunny plants and then we're going to look at the shady plants. See, this is a sunny. And I want you girls to notice all the different textures of the leaves. And let's just clip the leaf or the flower. And don't be afraid to get some of these too because these really make a, a good design. Now these are very thin. Do you see how thin they are compared to this? This has thicker veins and everybody touch the veins. See how thick that is? Mm -hmm. But it has a different feel than these over here will have a completely different feel. Feel this one. Let's get one of these. I feel? Yeah. yeah. Feel how soft this is. How about one of these? You like the cat one? Yeah. That's a good I, good thing that you mentioned about smell because not all of them have a smell. This one, nah, not so much. <laughs> but the roses have a smell. And you know in art, smell is just as important as color because when you smell certain things, like what do you think of when you smell vanilla? Like cookies. Mm. It makes you feel happy. And so you tend to paint in a different way than if you were smelling something that had no odor. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of picture would you make if you smelled something stinky? Yeah. Stinky. A stinky picture. <laughs> <laughs> but do you see how we're already starting to build a collage of beauty? I mean, it's got every color. I want you to notice, because that looks like one flower. If you were going to paint that, you're not painting one flower. You're painting one two, three, four. There are a lot of flowers in one little clump. I want a yellow flower. Because <laughs> we don't have a yellow. This one looks better. We, we have one, but it's really, really tiny. And that's a good thing to add to our collage. We need all different sizes. Let's go over here by this front window. Maybe you can... These are my favorite. Whoa! Do you know what? Now this has a smell. This is called sage. This have you one smell? It. Does this smell like soup? Should we go in and get to work? A lot of times if you're going to go into art, you know, when you're older, your teacher will ask you, what's your style? We want to see your style. You don't know what that means. But what it means is the way you paint, the way you draw. And so you're going to notice that certain flowers you like better than others. And that's how you develop your style. Who picked that big leaf? Sophia. Oh, that's pretty. And pay attention too with color. When flowers are closed, they're darker. And then as they open, they get lighter. So see the lighter color? Ooh, who picked this? I did. We're going to pick a background color. Well, like a background color of our paper. Do you see this? It's not exactly the right color as this, but it's sort of, and it doesn't have to be exactly. And then, I mean, you don't have to do this, but you can if you want. There are all kinds of different ways to show. Because this is called summer collage, and a collage is bits and pieces of a lot of different things together. Now, I'm just going to show you once, and then you girls, we're all on our own, and we do our own thing, because no two artists are the same. We can copy another person's work, but it's always going to be your own. Now, this is missing what color? What color green do you think that would be? Uh, um, it's like a... A dark green. You're right, a dark... Let's look around. Like a chalk dark green? And if you can't find the exact color of green, it doesn't really matter. Th these are called crepaws. They're an oil, waxy color. You want to touch I, I, them? I, I, use, I use a crepaws. And they're a little messy, but boy, are they neat. Dark, and, dark and these are chalks. They're, and so they go on very, very smooth. And what I like to do sometimes is you just draw what you see. Look what he did. And this is what a lot of artists will do. This is called shading. And see how it's darker? Rather than 
paint the whole flower a certain color, which is fine, but if you want it to look more like a real flower, you would add different colors to, for contrast. That's really, really pretty. I like what you've done. Now you know, at another project, we can press the leaves and then what? you glue, the you, you put them in books and then you press them and then they get flat. So hold it up. Tell her, what is this? This is, I like this that. This is a cool caliper because I like caliper. They train it to cool butterflies. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. And this, I was wondering, what, is that a caterpillar too? No, that, that's a little leaf, but like those leaves over there. Oh, you're right. They are shaped like that, exactly. And I like this, that we, we did leaves and we cut out shapes. That's the biggest leaf. That is a big leaf, but there are so many different leaves. There are di there's little teeny, teeny tiny ones, and then we have really big ones. Those are little. Paw prints. No, the paw prints and they uh from they a like dinosaur. I mean oh. those are wing clouds. And those are the little wing ducks. And this is the wing cloud. Oh, and this is the flower that grows from the wing drops. And this is what is that? Uh it's just fully in and the in the wing planes on that and then flowers I forgot to make the rain. <laughs> um, That's okay. Those are, those are um, raindrop really going that stuff. way but the red. That's kind of neat though. Um, so, and they're really hot raindrops. These? Yeah. Oh. Well they would be hot if they're red. But but the flowers so pretty. got um grilled by the rain and the pink flower was the, the pink flower didn't get enough rain because cause it cause it didn't been right there. That's nice. That's my nice plant. You know what I especially like is your leaf. This is a beautiful flower. And I what like do you? I love the leaf. It's, it's flat. It's a plaid leaf that yeah. shows me that the imagination this went off. Imagine. What did you learn? How did it make you feel? Do you think that you can change nature by art? Yes. Like you can have red rain. You can have plaid leaves. You can have whatever you want. You Ooh, could even have a blue moon. Look at that.